Libra, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for July uh, 1st to July 7th and um, if you like this reading please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do, I don't mind. And uh, I'm just going to start your reading right now for Libra. So the first card you have you passed is the Emperor. Um, yeah, I'm seeing fairness around this card because the Emperor is very straight up and down. He's all about we do this in the right way, this is the system, this is what we do, we jump ahead, forge ahead, get it all done, and um, we're all, you know, straight up and down, very fair. So I think for a long time you might have been trying to be fair with a certain person. Um, I'm seeing you helping someone, I'm seeing, I'm getting this feeling of maybe you owed someone something or maybe you didn't, maybe it was just how you felt. You've had a duty to someone, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting around this. And I think, you know, for a long time you're happy to do this, you're happy to help this person, there was no problem. But I think as time went on, maybe they were hinting at more, maybe they uh, became a little bit more demanding, it might have been that. And um, I think you do like to fix things. You like to help people. You like to make sure everything's fair for everyone and everyone's okay. But I think this got to the stage where um, it was unfair for you. And, um, you know, I think there was a line and it just crossed over that line between um, you helping someone and um, them just kind of expecting you to do it, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, I'm not telling you to stop. It's just their attitude, it's their attitude towards this change. They were grateful in the beginning and um, you know, they're, now they're not, that's what I'm seeing. And um, a lot of your time was being taken up as well by this person, I think. But really, I think the thing that was bothering you the most was their attitude. Um, you know, that they weren't really very grateful for you doing any of this. Um, yeah, again, there is some guilt. I keep on seeing guilt or duty or something around this thing. Uh, a lot of this guilt might be in your head if this is resonating. I don't think you actually owe this person anywhere near what you think you do. Um, yeah, help them if you like. Of course, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But I think um, you need to try to cut back on this help a bit. I think, you know, help with the essential things if you need to. But I think there are a lot of things that they could be doing themselves. And I think there might also be some things that other people could step in and help with as well. I think there are a lot of people who are leaving things up to you to do. And, you know, that's the opposite of fairness. So... If this resonates, you know, just take a look at all of that. Just think about this and try to make things fair for yourself because you haven't been doing that. You've been coming last. That's what I'm seeing in that card. So, yeah, the next card you have your past is the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing some love. I'm seeing love in this card. Um, again, I'm seeing you putting a lot into someone, putting a lot into a love situation. And maybe you're not getting as much out of this either that you're putting in. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I don't mean for this to be negative, but I'm getting this feeling that someone might have even had you on a bit of a string, actually. Um, I think you've done a lot for whoever this is, this love connection. I think you've satisfied, satisfied, sacrificed, I was trying to say. I think you've sacrificed a lot to be around them because I'm seeing some kind of, I'm seeing quite a few changes you had to make in your life for them. I think you might have even moved or you might have traveled. It's some kind of big thing you had to do, maybe even more than one thing to, uh, you know, accommodate them or be with them. Um, and I think there are times when they look as if they're coming closer. They look as if they're going to commit or offer you something amazing or something. They might even promise things. They might even dangle things in front of you and then they don't quite deliver. That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, if you look at this knight, he's beautifully groomed and he's coming up to this river. He's coming up to the water where the emotions are. And, you know, it looks really promising. It looks beautiful. Um, he looks like the typical kind of knight in shining armour, but he's not crossing the river. He's not committing. So, you know, I think what you'd like is a lot more commitment than this person's giving you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I know it's really hard. I know when you care for someone, when you love them and they're not stepping up, it's really hard because you don't want to you don't want to accept what's happening, but you also don't want to just walk away and leave it because you do really love them. I know I've been a, in a position like that myself. 
Um, I'm not saying they never will do that. But again, I'm just thinking about what I was seeing in the emperor. You're giving and giving and giving. And maybe this person's a bit complacent. Maybe they think something like, oh, they'll always put the work in. Uh, I'll always have them. I can just sit back and I don't have to put the work in myself. I don't think they're literally thinking that, but that's the attitude. So if this is all resonating, um, I can see that you do have very deep feelings for this person. So if I were you, I'd start putting a bit less work in for a while. I know it sounds like a game, but it's, it's not. You know, your Libra, things around you need to be balanced and this is a very very unbalanced situation that's what i'm seeing so the last card you have you passed is the uh five of swords yeah um yeah i hate to say this but look at how uneven this is again this man has three swords he has three swords he doesn't need three swords each person needs one right but he has three and uh, he's about to take the other men's swords as well. Um, I'm not saying this is an evil person who just wants to take from you, but there is an imbalance here. And if you look at the two men walking away, one's crying and the other one's just walking. So um, I think the advice here is, you know, to at least don't do as much as you're doing now. Try to mirror this person if you can. I know this sounds like I'm playing games again, but I'm not doing that. Um, you know, it's up to you to make this fairer because they're not doing this. So you have to do this. Um, you know, if they're taking more than they're giving, hold back. Because I'm getting this really strong feeling that someone's not committing. They're not giving you their all. Uh, they might be telling you things. They might be promising you things. The Knight of Cups can be a bit superficial sometimes. He's a bit about appearances sometimes. So, you know, be the man who walks away for a while. At least, um, you know, be that man before you turn into the man who's crying. Don't let it get to the stage where you're overwhelmed and upset. You know, play, I'm, I shouldn't say play the game because I keep on saying, you know, I'm not playing games. But you need to mirror them. If they're putting a certain amount in, you put that amount in. That's what I'm seeing. And also concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on your goals, your life. Let them come to you. Let them make the effort. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have your presence, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I think deep down what you'd really like, again, is to be able to build some kind of strong foundation with this person. But that has to come from both sides. And it's not at this time. That's what I'm seeing. You know, you can't take two legs off a table and expect it to stay up. The work and commitment has to come from two sides, not one. And, um, you know, this is more than that. It's more about who's putting in the most. It's not like a scoreboard. This is about how you feel. It's sometimes I think it almost feels as if uh, you're not there, invisible. It might not be that extreme, but... Um, and it's not all the time, but it's there. This is about how you feel. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is uh, work progress. And um, I'm seeing education as well. So I think there might be an opportunity coming up for you. Uh, I don't know if you work in education. It might be that. Or it might be a promotion where you're going to have to train. Uh, so there's education around your work or something. Uh, there's definitely more money in this. And um, it's some kind of higher position than what you're in now. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm not seeing a business or uh, I'm not seeing that this is about being self-employed. This is about an actual job um, and it's a really positive step up. So, you know, it's going to mean a lot of work, uh, probably a lot of extra hours, especially at the beginning, because I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing some traveling around this. So you might have to travel to different locations. I'm only seeing this happening at the beginning though, so it might be for training, you know, it might be something like you have to travel to train in the beginning, go to different locations and then you come back again. But, um, you know, if this is happening, you're going to be really, really busy, uh, really pre preoccupied with work, so you're not going to have a lot of time to spend with this person anyway, you're not going to have the time to put all this effort in anyway. So, you know, you might be forced to distance yourself. So even if you don't feel like doing that, that might be what you have to do. So, you know, sometimes the universe gives us what we need, even when we don't think that's what we want. So that's what I'm seeing happening there. Um, the next card you have here present is uh, the High Priestess. Yeah, I love the High Priestess. Um, I'm seeing a few things here. Um, 
This is a really introspective card. Uh, it's about inner knowledge, inner feelings. Um, I think you're just going to be going through a time of introspection at this time. Not just about this relationship. It's not like you're just going to be thinking about that. Um, you're going to be thinking about yourself. And I think the trigger for this introspection might come from, um, I think there's going to be someone who has a conversation with you, maybe. Uh, I think this might be a friend. Um, yeah, I'm seeing someone who's younger than you, who's going to be talking to you. And um, I think they're going through a few problems themselves. And I think you have a, a bit of advice for them. I think this is good advice. Um, but I think what's going to happen is, this is really interesting, I think as you're talking to them, it might make you start to think something like, well, I'm giving this person all this advice, what advice would I give myself in my situation? And I think this is really good because all the way through this reading, you're helping other people, you're giving to other people, and I think this is going to be the start of you making an effort to really give more to yourself and think about yourself, concentrate on yourself. Um, I think you're going to start to uh, think really, really carefully, really deeply about you and what makes you happy on a, on a quite a deep level, actually. So this is going to open up a whole new way of thinking for you. Um, you know, it's not selfishness. That's not what I'm seeing here. It's self-connection. It's self-love. And that's exactly what you need. Um, the other thing I'm seeing here is that... Um, yeah, you might have to keep something to yourself. I think um, I think this person might tell you something that they don't want to repeat it. And uh, yeah, you're definitely going to honor that. You're going to keep that um, to yourself. That's what I'm seeing there. Um, so the last card, you have your present strength. And uh, yeah, this is beautiful. I love seeing this. This is about self-growth. So this is coming straight from the High Priestess. That's what I'm seeing there. And again, I'm seeing the self-growth here. So yeah, you're really going to get your strength back. Um, you know, look at this lion and this woman. They're bigger than the landscape around them, much bigger. So you're growing. Look at that. And uh, I think the way you're going to start to deal with people is that um, I think you're just going to start to set up some really clear barriers around you. And I think whenever people try to cross those barriers, ask too much of you, say, do this, do that, I want this. You know, you're not going to be angry. You're not going to do anything like that. You're just going to politely, calmly, firmly as well. Just show them where the barriers are. You know, you might be saying something like, OK, well, I know you're asking me to help you, but I can't do that right now. I'm very busy. Um, I think maybe you should try to do this yourself. Have you thought of doing this or that? Maybe you should ask person X, Y, Z. You know, you're going to be very calm, very kind but you're going to show very clearly where your barriers are. And, um, you know, I'm really, really happy to see this here. It's almost like you're going to be taming people. Uh, you know, that might sound bad, like you're manipulative. That's not what I mean. It's like, it's kind of like you're training people in a really calm, really diplomatic way. Just like this woman's taming this lion. You know, if she jumped up and down and screamed at it to try and tame it, um, it might be fatal for her if you're taming a lion. So, you know, she's being calm, but she's still taming the lion, even though she's calm and she's kind. That's what I'm seeing happening in that card. So the first card you have uh, for your future is the uh, Eight of Wands. Um, yeah, I think there are a few things here. The first thing is um, you're going to be really, really busy. Uh, this might be when this work thing comes in. Uh, it might not be that. It might just be that you're busy. You know, you are going to be spending a lot of time out of your usual area. Maybe not physically, but mentally and emotionally. I think you're going to be dealing with um, something that, or things, some different things that you're not used to dealing with. And uh, I think it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable for you for a while. You're going to kind of go back to the beginning and have to learn something new. Um, it's like a totally new area of expertise. So it's definitely around work, whatever this is. So you'll definitely rise to the challenge. Um, I am seeing a few late nights ahead of you. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to stay up late to get whatever this is done. Um, but you'll definitely do it. And um, I think achieving this is really going to help with your confidence as well. So that's going to build you up as well, like the strength card, build up your strength. Um, I think you're also going to have to block out a lot of people at this time, switch off. I'm seeing switching off. Um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people trying to talk to you, call you, message you. 
and you're just going to have to switch all that off for a while. Not everyone's going to be happy with that. They're not used to this. They're used to the old you who accommodates everyone. But this is the new you. And uh, you know, you've got your barriers up now, good barriers. So you're not going to let any of this bother you at this time. You're going to be very diplomatic. You're going to be kind, you're going to be calm, but you're not going to let anyone come inside those barriers. So this is really, really good. I'm really happy to see this. Um, so the next card you have your future is the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely some study in this. There's learning here. The pages can be students. Um, and uh, I think you're going to have to go right back to the beginning, actually, with something. Uh, you're going to be a learner again for a while. So it might be this training that you're doing or whatever this is that I was seeing in the King of Pentacles. But um, yeah, this is going to help you to rise up in your finances because this is Pentacles. Again, you've got the King of Pentacles and you've got the page. Um, you know, this coin looks a little bit like the sun. That's why I'm saying rising up. And, you know, when the sun rises up, it's a new day. So when you start this training, it's going to feel like a fresh new day right at the beginning. So you're going to feel like a beginner and uh, it's, it's going to be a good thing for you. It's really going to be good for you. Um, what you'll be learning, I think, is also going to be very, very valuable to you. I'm just looking at the way this page is holding this coin. You know, it's as if it's a very valuable, precious object. And it is. So, you know, I think you're really going to appreciate what you're learning. And because of that, you know, you'll get a lot out of it, not just for your work, but I think you're going to really benefit in a lot of other areas of your life from this learning. So it's going to be very good. Um, so, yeah, the last card you have your future is the King of Cups. Right, so what I'm seeing here is um, if this person in the Knight of Cups is going to change at all, it's going to take a long time if they do at all. So I think they are a bit confused. Um, but, you know, if they're confused, they should just come out and tell you. They should say, I'm confused. They're not doing that. They're not saying anything. They're kind of keeping you guessing. Because if you look at this king, his body's facing one way and his eyes are looking the other way. So where is he? Is he here? Is he there? Is he thinking about me? Is he thinking about himself? Is he thinking about someone else? We don't know. So, you know, they do have a lot that they need to sort out in their heads. I know that. Um, but I think you need to ask yourself, do I want half a person? Do I want a whole person? You know, do I want someone who's here or there? Or do I want someone who's totally here for me? Um, you know, I think you've tried a lot with them. I think you've done a lot um, to kind of fix all of this. And I think by this stage, they really should be upfront with you and tell you, um, you know, if they're confused or they should tell you if they're not ready or, you know, or they should just get on board with you if they are ready. One or the other, which one is it? Which way am I facing? You know, you, you've got to find that out. And if you can't get that information for, from them, you know, you know what I think about that. So, you know, you can't make people do things. And I think this is going to be your decision. It's going to have to be your decision. But um, if it is resonating, I don't want to tell you what to do. But um, a lot of things in this reading are indicating that they're probably not going to change. And I hate to say that, but uh, that's what I'm seeing. So you're going to have to make a decision, I think. Am I in or am I out? Because you're not getting that from them. Um, you know, if they won't make the effort to meet you halfway, that really says it all, sorry to say. So Libra, I won't say I hope this resonated, but I think it will be for the best if you do actually move on or at least, you know, something has to change anyway with this. But yeah, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, uh, if you liked this reading, uh, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And uh, thank you so much for watching.